Hi guys, my Adlaw. For today's video, I will be presenting to you about solving word problems involving exponential functions. There are plenty of real-life situations that models an exponential function. One of the best examples is our present situation right now about the COVID-19 infections. And of course, our bank investments, the rate of increase and decrease of money. In terms of increase, it is about exponential growth. And in terms of decrease, it's about exponential decay. So before we proceed, let us have first our lesson objective. At the end of this video, you should be able to solve word problems involving exponential functions. This lesson requires us to have a prior knowledge on the following. Number one, definition of exponential function, the standard form, and of course, the translation of the standard form, and evaluating functions. So let's proceed directly to our examples. Let us have example number one. The case doubling time of infection of COVID-19 is every three days. If there are 5,000 people infected at present and the rate of infection continues, how many people will be infected after 21 days? So as you can see, the problem is about COVID-19. And the problem talks about case doubling time, meaning we say case doubling time, it is the amount of time in which the infection doubles. So in this case, the case doubling time is every three days. We take now the initial value, 5,000 people infected at present. If we have 5,000 people at present, so if the case or if the rate of infection continues, how many people will be infected after 21 days considering that the amount of infection will double every three days? So for the solution, we have to consider the function. We use the function y equals a times b raised to x. We have to remember that y is just the same as f of x. As I have said earlier, or as I have said in my previous video, that y and f of x are just the same, or f of x is just equal to y, or y is just equal to f of x. So we will be using this function y equals a times b raised to x. In this case, our y, we let y as the number of people infected after 21 days because we are talking of 21 days. How many people will be infected after 21 days? Then we let x as the case doubling time. So how do we illustrate the case doubling time? We need to remember that the amount of infection or the rate of infection doubles every three days. So if we are going to illustrate the case doubling time, we can have we can illustrate like this. First three days will be the first doubling time, meaning three days. After three days, the 5,000 will double, so it will become 10,000. Then another doubling time will be after six days. So that is now the second doubling time. Then the third doubling time will be the, the ninth days. Then the fourth doubling time, 12 days. Fifth doubling time will be 15 days until we reach the seventh doubling time, which is the 21 days, because it is what the problem talks about the number of infected people after 21 days. A here is the initial value, and B is the case doubling time. When we take case doubling time, it should we say double, double, of course, it's twice, it's two, or triple, or quadruple. So it doubles the rate. Now for the given, since we are to solve for the y as the number of people infect, infected after 21 days, so it's unknown, our a will be 5,000. Where did we get a? It is the initial value given in the problem. That's 5,000 infected people at present as the, because we left a as the initial value. And of course, our b is 2 because that is the case doubling rate. And our x is 7. Where did, did we get 7? It is the 7th doubling time because we are talking of 21 days. For the solution, we need to substitute these values to the function y equals a times b raised to x. So since y is unknown, we copy y. Then our a is 5,000. 
we have here 5,000 times the b is 2 and we, we raise that to 7 which is our x. Now to simplify, we can have 2 raised to 7 that is 128. Then multiplied to 5,000 that is y is equal to 640,000. These are the people infected after 21, 21 days, given that the situation, that the case doubling time of, of infection of COVID-19 is every three days. By the way, you are allowed to use calculators in solving problems involving exponential function because we will be talking of very large numbers here or very small numbers when we say exponential function. So if we are going to analyze, if there are 5,000 people infected at present and the case doubling time of infection is every three days, we can expect that there would be 640,000 people infected in just a matter of 21 days. That is how exponential growth works and that is how the COVID-19 cases is increasing nowadays. So... We should be very careful of ourselves. We should practice uh, minimum health standards, social distancing, uh, hand washing, and just be clean. Wear masks. Okay? So, let's continue to the second example. A car value depreciates by 9% every year. If a car is worth 450,000 pesos in 2020, what will be its value in the year 2025? Now, let us analyze the problem. The problem talks about of depreciates, meaning when we say depreciates, that means the value decreases. So therefore, this problem is a problem on exponential decay. The number one problem is an example of exponential growth. Okay, we have the initial value of the car which is 450,000 pesos and we are told to find the value of the car in the year 2025. Okay, for the solution, of course, we, we use the same function y equals a times b raised to x. We let our y as the value of the car in the year 2025. Then, we also let x as the time in years. We will count the number of years from 2020 to 2025. Then, we let a as the initial value. In this case, we have the initial value of 450,000 pesos. And we let b this time. This is now the case doubling time because the, the problem does not talk about doubles or triple or quadruple. The problem talks of depreciation. So, we let b as the rate of depreciation. Okay, so how do we illustrate the rate of depreciation? Depreciation is illustrated as 1 minus the rate or the percentage of depreciation. 1 minus the rate. In this case, our rate is 9%. We need to change 9% to decimal. In decimal, it is 0 0.09 in decimal. So the rate of depreciation is taken, is illustrated as 1 minus the rate. So for the given, of course, our y is our unknown, the car value for the year 2025. And the initial value of the car is 450,000 pesos in the year 2020. And our b, as it is being is illustrated in this part here, 1 minus the rate, so that means 1 minus our 9% in decimal is 0 0.09. So 1 minus 0 0.09 is equal to 0 0.91. So this is the value that we are going to substitute to the function. And last is the number of time in years. We have 5. Why? Because there are 5 years in between 50 to 20, uh, 2020 to 2025. So that means 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025. So the time lapse is five, is 5 years. So we will substitute these values to our function. So we have y equals a times b raised to x. So we have our a which is 450,000. Then our b which is the rate of depreciation which is 0 
raised to 5, which is the number of years. Okay? So, we raise, by using a calculator, we have 0 0.91 raised to 5, that is approximately 0 0.624. Okay? So, I use here approximate, val approximate symbol because we... I rounded off the number to 600, 0.624. And we multiply 450,000 to 0.624, that is approximately 280,800 pesos. So, our car's value in 2025 will be 200, approximately will be 280,800 pesos. With a starting value from 420, from 450,000 pesos in 2020, the car's value in 2025 will be 280,800 pesos. So this problem is an example of exponential decay. The amount, the initial value decreases considering the amount of time involved. Now let's proceed to the third example. A certain culture of bacteria increases by 5% every hour. This time we are talking of hour and we are talking of increases or increase the amount of increase. That means this problem is an example of exponential growth. So if there are 100 bacteria in a human body at around 12 noon, how many bacteria will be there at 12 a.m. of the same day? Okay. So the initial amount of bacteria in the human body is 100. The amount of increase is 5% every hour. And if we are going to determine the number of hours, we'll just simply count the number of hours from 12 noon to 12 a.m. of the same day. So for the solution, we use the same function, which is y equals a times b raised to x. We let y as the number of bacteria present at 12 a.m. And we let a as the initial number of bacteria at 12 noon. And we let b as the rate of increase. This time we are talking of rate of increase. Example number two is at the rate of depreciation. That's why we use 1 minus the rate. But this time, since this is exponential growth, so we will be using 1 plus the rate. We let x as the time in hours. So for the given, our y is unknown and our initial value is 100. Then our b is 1 plus 5% in decimal is 0 0.05. So this is 1.05. And our x is 12. How did we get 12? There are 12 hours. There are 12 elapsed time from 12 noon to 12 a.m. That means 12 noon starts from 12 noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 at 12 a.m. So there are 12 hours. Substitute these values to the function. So we can have y equals a times b raised to x. Then our initial value is 100 times our rate of increase, which is 1 plus the rate. So that is 1.05 and our time is 12 hours. We raise 1.05 to 12, that is 1 point, approximately 1.7959. Then we multiply that to 100, that is approximately 1.79.59 or 100. 80 bacteria after 12 hours. Okay, so 180 bacteria after 12 hours. Okay, that's it. I hope you have learned something from this video. There are still plenty of examples or worded problem examples for exponential functions, but I cannot discuss all of them here in my video. So all you need to do is just simply uh, research on your own and practice solving these problems. So for now, thank you and God bless.